Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm doing... I don't know. I'm going to play with the Lethal Velvet Dusk. The Lethal Velvet Dusk palette and I don't know if I can call this first impression because I have tested a lot of Lethal's shades but this is their newest it's not that new anymore i guess it came around black friday um it's one of their already made 12 pan palettes so you can pick the shades out if you want to and yeah this is inspired by the 90s grunge and um, do i love it yes i do so i'm going to do a look with this and maybe this will be like kind of get rid with me I don't know because it it doesn't feel like I need to do like a first impression of lethal if I'm going to be honest. So I just think we hop into this. And if you I don't know if you can see but my ear here 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 is really really red. I changed my piercing jewelry and I don't know how it is with you that have like a helix piercing. But this is a fucking pain in the ass. I have had this for 16 years, I think. And it's still like when I change the jewelry, if it takes too long because I had to screw this on, my ear is so annoyed. I actually once tried to stretch this. Worst pain ever. Okay, so into the palette instead. I want to check. The only thing I don't like when they do this it was the same with Off the Dark. The name of the shadows is only on the sleeve and I usually don't have this in because, yeah. So, but I, I have saved this and I got to check for the shadows, what they're called. Because on the back, it's nothing because you can buy this palette empty if you want to, I think. <laughs> but I'm going to start with steam so uh, this one I'm going to take it in my crease and I think I will love this shade and I actually don't know what I'm going to talk about in this video but do you like do I never know mm, I guess not and I'm still like trying to figure out a little bit what I want to do on my channel right now I just want to play with makeup so that is what I'm doing right now, if you haven't noticed. Okay, do I love this shade? Yes, I do. I'm actually a little bit sad that I wasn't that old in the 90s because I really like love 90s fashion. <laughs> Not all the fashion, but... Uh, and the music, like the crunchy music, maybe it's because I grew up with that, but if you didn't know, I am born 89, so I do have memories <laughs> from the 90s, and uh, yeah, and I'm born pretty early in the year, I am born in March, so yeah, I did grow up in the 90s. But I wasn't that old, so yeah, when I was eight, I didn't care about fashion in that kind of way. But why am I even talking about this? I have no idea. Okay, this shade is so freaking cool. Um, for my lid, I f know what I want to do, but I don't where to start but I think I'm going to start with this dark shade that is called Crush Corrosion Corrosion sometimes when I like edit my videos and I say something that I can't like I don't know how to pronounce it when I'm recording but then I it comes to me and when I'm recording I'm like I'm stupid Corrosion English is not my first language, so you can't say anything about that. <laughs> but I'm going to take this dark shade and just take it 
a little bit out of here because I want to do other fun things to my lid. And, uh, I really, really love Lethal. It's some of my favorite formula when it comes to eyeshadows. And I am actually thinking of doing a swatching all my Lethal shades. This is, I'm just waiting for a thing. Maybe this is going to be my favorites from Lethal just because like I love grungy and I just love this and like my best thing that has came back now from the night is is I never know if it's flat forms or platforms but like I bought myself <laughs> buffaloes yes I'm 31 I'm then going in with this runaway and I'm going to take it because I think I want this cryptic on my lid as well. I hope it will look cool. I don't know, but maybe. So I go in with Runaway. Maybe this brush isn't that good. I don't think so. That is like the only thing I don't like. Um, when I'm playing with a lot of stronger shades and like blues and stuff because my brushes are getting dirty so so fast and yeah I know I could wash them but that is not fun so I'm going to try to blend this together without it getting too mushy right now I do not succeed on that one. And this runaway, it is a dupe for Plankton from Menagerie. So if you maybe live in Europe, that is the choice. And I don't know how it is with like the shipping to the US from Lethal or outside of Europe for once like I, I think that can be a little reason why I love Lethal because they are from Germany and um, I don't have to pay taxes and stuff and it goes pretty fast for me to get my packagings and like finally it's really fun in the brand in Europe okay, I like this and I don't know like because I want to take this one as i said in here i don't know if that will look shitty or if it will look good but i hope it will look good and like give a little bit of a fun pop to this look so brush please so this was cryptic this is cryptic the green one and i will see do i fuck this grungy look up or will i Will it be good still? Okay, I think this will look cool. Because first I was like, maybe I should take more like maybe this shimmer or this shimmer, but what's the fun in that? Nothing is fun in that. And okay. This has a little bit of gold to it. So bad at showing it camera. I think it's sitting too far off. But it has a little bit of gold. So it goes together with a shade in my crease and it looks good together with Runaway, the green one. I just know that this palette was perfect for me and I really, really do like it. I think I also will take this cryptic like in my inner corner and down here a little bit to really make it show more. So I love the lids like this. So I'm going to fix my face and then I'm going to do the under eyes. And I think I want to 
take a really dark red lip to this. I don't know yet, but I think because I have some green and I love green and red together. On my lower lash line, I think I just will go in with this shade that was called Esteem and might even it down with this and then this one like in my inner corner. So I will start with the yellowish mustardy and take it like on my lower lash and really like smudge it out. And I really this might be one of my favorite shades that I have from Lethal actually. I just love it and it's just perfect in some way then I just go in with the darker with the same brush and just out of here and this I like only do to connect my <laughs> lid with my lower lash and then I will take this green shimmer cryptic and I will spray it I think and then just take it in here and a little bit on my lower lash as well. So okay, for my waterline, I think maybe green will look cool, like a bright green or maybe dark one. We'll go with the dark ones. I take overboard from color poop. And then I'm going in with my mascara and I have actually opened a new one. You don't really care, I know. And for my lips, I am going to take out some different choices. Okay, so I have four different choices. And I got three red and actually this green one, Wasteland, that is from Lethal. Maybe I should take this one. Maybe this is crunching cool. But I like want to take a dark red one. And this is not that dark. This one from Lethal. But like I okay, maybe I should. This is more me, and this is not so much me, but I saw Anki. Um I can leave her channel down below. She had this, I saw a picture on her Instagram when she wore this and I was like, that is freaking cool. I did not look that cool in this lipstick. But maybe, but no, I've spoken. My battery ran out. So this is the finished look with the Velvet Dusk from Lethal. I love this look. I love this color story i just love everything about it and i really love the front of the palette the off the dark wasn't my favorite but this one i love everything about it so i did use this shade this one this one and this one and these two these two are amazing 100% my colors. I really love them and I really like this one. I think Lethal does amazing light green shimmers and yeah as good as the other Lethal shades I have tried. So yeah that was all for this video. I don't know if this was a strange video but it feels strange to do like a first impression on Lethal because I've used a lot of lethal shades but I wanted to use this and I'm going to I think do like um, maybe a week with lethal and take all my lethal shades put them in a big empty palette and then do a palette bingo and do like maybe four palette bingos and take out the shades that I've already have used is that anything you want to see please let me know and I will also try to do a video where I swatch all my lethal shades 
my arm is going to be destroyed, my fingers are going to be sustained, but I think it's, I think lethal are pretty good at having like the correct shade on their website, but I know it's hard and it's easier if you can see like swatch on them. So yeah, I might do that. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!